Tennessee Funeral Home is making headlines for its addition of a unique grief counselor. Therapy dog Lexi Joe is helping people there cope with the loss of a loved one. Veterinarian Dr. Courtney Campbell is here with more. Dr. Campbell, I think this is a great idea and it's actually a growing trend nationwide. That's right, Kristen. Lexi Joe is undergoing training to become a grief therapy dog, which she will complete in the next year. Petting a therapy dog increases serotonin and dopamine levels in our brain. That's important because that increase in those hormones improves our mood, it lowers stress, anxiety, and depression. But what's even more remarkable is dogs seem to be able to tell when humans are in emotional stress. A recent study actually found that they have the ability to sense when people may be down and give them seemingly unconditional love. So what kind of training goes into preparing a dog to be a therapy dog? Well, Kristen, there's various organizations that have different programs to certify a dog. And one of those organizations is the Alliance of Therapy Dogs. This group has a three-step process. First, the dog has to be friendly and at least one year of age. It can be any breed or mix. Second, an observer will test the owner and their dog. The observer is really looking for a dog's good manners, demeanor, and will judge the owner's handling skills. Then third, the observer will watch the owner and the dog during three visits with residents at medical facilities. If these visits are successful, the last step is submitting the final paperwork and receiving a certificate showing the dog has passed all the required tests. Great information, Dr. Courtney Campbell, thank you.